Salutations, good evening. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Anyways. And happy Hanukkah. So yeah, for some reason I decided to think it was a good idea to, uh, decided to think. Is that even grammatically correct? <laughs> Who cares, it was obviously a good idea. <laughs> so I think this was a good idea, so yeah, we're doing this again. And probably to the detriment of both of our health. <laughs> yep. So yeah, we've got a bunch of new bits of crap to play tonight. And so where do you suppose we should start? We've got <laughs> quite a few interesting things. Uh, one of which we we found literally just before the stream started, and uh, it, it 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 both made us pretty much shriek at the sight of it. <laughs> but yeah, should Hold we on. just get that out of the way, or I'm gonna do the quick uh, popping out of the chat and stuff at the moment, so hold on. Got 
got to set up a screen. I'm going to be honest, I'm a little tired tonight, so if I decide to go to bed like a wuss early on, then yeah, you can blame me for that, but... <laughs> and I will. I'm going to cut out the bit so you just see the chat. I, I should have done this, I should have prepared, but I was too busy making my stupid Vaporwave intro screen there to bother. Good job. And disable the uh, mouse, exclusive window capture. There we go. All right. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay. All right. So uh, for those who are new to the stream, I think I do see a few new faces out there. Uh, what we're going to be doing is a... Uh, there is a uh, online multiplayer emulator thing called Mednafen, or I don't know how to really properly pronounce it, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got it right. Uh, the thing is that it's sort of like a multi-purpose emulator, but one of the things it does really scarily well is the fact that you can actually play uh, multiplayer games. And, like, there is next to no desync. It actually does a bit of rollback and stuff. It's pretty cool. And uh, it's fun to go and, like, search for really awful ROMs to, like, screw around with. Because, uh, as you saw last yeah, stream... it's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. <laughs> or until we start playing Anticipation again. <laughs> I, I, that was pretty great, though. I can't deny. But yeah. yeah, that was, like, the highlight of that stream. I warned you. <laughs> But yeah, let, let's get the thing out of the way first, okay? <laughs> you know what it is. All right. Oh, no, it says mapper not supported. Oh, no. Oh, the darn, we don't The get other version pyramids. works, though. The other version works. Wait, what? The, the dot .unf version. <laughs> oh, it works. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe this is a real thing that exists. But yeah, this is... Well, you've gotten us into this mess, so you better believe it. This is Pyramid 2, the sequel to uh, the ever-beloved puzzle game Pyramid. And oh my god, there's an attract mode screen with, like, clouds. <laughs> the story of Pyramid 2! <laughs> Hold up, this is very important. There is a old, a old prophecy saying that the evil who has stayed in the pyramid for several thousand years will revive in 20XX. As soon as the pyramid will been filled with rocks, the devils will come. Meanwhile, the world will enter to a horrible condition. All oh god, of the not a horrible condition. All, of the, all of the living creature will been destroyed. <laughs> But the prophecy, prophecy saying too, the marvelous soldier whom order by God will by the way come done with the beautiful cloud to stop the devil reviving. <laughs> oh God, it's like an actual soldier with a parachute and a gun. Are you seeing this? <laughs> it's delayed by a few seconds. <laughs> Anyways! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, have you started up your thing yet? Yeah, connect. Alright. I mean... And... Oh, right, you gotta, we gotta see this again. again. That is so good! <laughs> it's like the most bored-looking man ever, too. Alright. No point in delaying the pain any longer. <laughs> so, if you're wondering what this actually is, a pyramid is a, a puzzle game. That was pretty much invented by Satan. <laughs> oh, hey, the two players seems to be working, but... The thing is that the Pyramid is a game where all of the pieces are put together so, like, in such a stupid way that it's borderline impossible to actually do anything. Also, it seems like the music's exactly the same. That's because it is. But hey, yeah, see me attempting to play with some strategy. It's a, it's just gonna devolve into like, where the fuck can I put this? <laughs> that's it always how, does. That's how you play pyramids, <laughs> really. <laughs> but 
But yeah, as you can see, all the pieces are like weird jagged edges, and it's like near impossible to really do anything. It's pretty great. The first game is single player only, but we just we literally just found out a few minutes before streaming that Pyramid 2 exists and it has multiplayer. Also, I am doing horrible. You can imagine how ecstatic we were. <laughs> Yeah, Link was pretty much absolutely distraught when he heard the news. <laughs> Understatement of the century right there. <laughs> but yeah, Puyo Pop, Tetris, Dr. Mario, yeah, screw all that. Pyramid is really where the hardcore gamers go. And by hardcore gamers, I mean extreme masochists, but eh. Sort of the same Sounds thing. Like me. Sort of the same thing when you really get down to it. So I, I haven't been paying attention to what Link's been doing. If he made a line, then I might may have missed it. But yeah, I made one line. I have yet to make one. Two lines. Two lines. I caught that. God, this is still awful. <laughs> Why on the bright side, it seems like they removed that stupid three-quarter moon piece. Oh yeah, you're right. Because that was like the worst piece in the game by far. They actually tried balancing pyramids somewhat. I that must have been an undertaking <laughs> that any amount of description would understand. But yeah, the nice parallax scrolling background from the first one, that's gone. Now you just get these ugly heads that spit bubbles. Yeah. I still want to know what was up with that intro, though. That was incredible. Yeah, that was what really made this worth it. Actually, it sounds like they actually did uh, fix up the music a little bit. It doesn't sound as shrieky as it was before. But it's the same song, though. I don't know, I don't really hear it. Oh my god, I made a line! <laughs> Took you long enough. Are you gonna read the chat for a bit? So, Bugtris when? <laughs> Does Bugtris work? Does I that have multiplayer? I don't know, uh, the thing is, uh, Medifen uses, uh, I would say, it doesn't have the most up-to-date sort of mapper selection, so certain games don't work. I think Bugtris uses one of the more obscure sort of setups, so I'm not entirely sure if that would work in this. I know it had like a bizarre music setup. Can you play one of the Sasha and Card games next? Do they have multiplayer? I don't remember. <laughs> Second line! Oh, no, no, I had that pit bit at the end. Crap. Yeah, I just made my fifth line somehow. You know, I think one of the saddest things a person could be would be a professional at Pyramid. Oh, way to step all over my life's ambitions there. <laughs> Seriously though, Pyramid for Evo 2018. Yeah, see if I come back for the next multiplayer stream. <laughs> yeah, seriously, this game is terrible. <laughs> People are saying in the chat they actually want to play this now. <laughs> no, don't. Don't play this. Never play this. This is... It's... It's a, it's a somewhat interesting concept, but it is executed so badly. <laughs> Especially the first game. The first game is awful. And I think I'm, I'm dead. Pretty much. And Come yeah, I think it's game over. Quit prolonging the inevitable. You gotta play this like a new bean bean machine and just keep stacking, praying I get something. <laughs> I'm a fan of Wait broken a minute, it's or still going. Game. Wait, can I rejoin? Oh no, I can't! <laughs> uh, oh dear, my connection has just died and now the game can no longer be played. Oh no! Uh-oh, my head was suddenly possessed by Satan himself as he caused me to press the X in the top corner of the window. Also, I just really clunkily ripped off an Ashen's joke, but yeah. 
Oh, uh, right. What that next? was awful. <laughs> yeah, why did we do that? Uh, what else did we have in mind? Uh, we had North and South. All right, which one? Is, I, th I think the only one that was on a console was the NES port, if I remember, but... Uh, yeah, I sent it over earlier. All right. Now, here's something I don't hate. <laughs> Yeah, I still remember the time I didn't really feel like going to art class in high school, so I just hung out in a bathroom stall the whole time playing this on in this weird Chinese bootleg handheld. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you press connect yet? No, I did not. Oh. Err. That's some really top-tier trumpet animation right there. <laughs> yeah, the best part is how you can't skip it. Alright, hold on, I was doing something quick. Alright, so how do we start up multiplayer on this? I forgot. Uh, well, as long as they both are player and you don't change either of them to computer, it should be two player automatically. Uh, what are these So now do? it's just I up forgot. to you to set up the levels and stuff. Alright, so what do these do exactly? Like, you got, like, a chief here, you got, like... Well, the chief... Causes random people on the side of the map to sometimes kill you if you get too close to Texas. Uh, the uh, lightning storm. Did we just start the game by accident or something? <laughs> yep, you just did. Whatever. Let's let's just figure this out as we go. Wait, what? Is this demo mode? Uh, you mean you didn't just do that? I didn't. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh it is demo. a demo mode. <laughs> That's weird. So. Uh, uh, so you gotta fix this now. Quick, turn us back into people. Uh, just click on com. Yeah, like that. I like the little, like, sound effects and stuff when you, like, actually, like, click on stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's, like, a lot of misplaced effort in this game. <laughs> Alright, I press start that time now, so let's do this. Speaking of misplaced effort... <laughs> yeah, there are so many text effects in this game that are just, like, there because they could do it. Uh, right. Here go, I think. Alright, so I forgot which side I am, but by north or south. Uh, it looks like you're north. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm the Confederacy. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I hate when I accidentally become the Confederacy. It's a relatable issue. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of neat effects in this game. It's just weird where they place them. <laughs> Uh, hang on, I'm gonna reset my connection real quick because my controls are drifting like a son of a bitch. But yeah, uh, I remember one distinct effect is in during the ending screen, uh, one of the text like reverses and then it flips around again. <laughs> hey, are you spoiling it? Yeah, they're spoiling the deep plot of North and South on the Nintendo. <laughs> Just for that, I'm going to attack your unit. Okay. Alright, here we go. Here is, uh, the uh, game on Action 52, but less awful. <laughs> Already forgot the name of that. Alright, so I forgot how you- oh yeah, you press buttons and, like, it changes. So the thing is, North and South is a bunch of really weird sort of mini-games. <laughs> Hey, you've just stabbed my cannon, man, when I wasn't paying attention. That wasn't very nice. Like, every- one of the things in this part is that every, uh, character on screen has a completely different, like, control style. The horsemen, or, I for, I, I think that that's- I don't remember the proper term. Is I think cavalry is what you're looking for? The cavalry, uh, whatever. They, they can only move horizontally, well, they automatically move horizontally, and you uh, can only control them up or down, and they wrap around the screen, as you can see. The uh, soldiers move in all directions and can shoot in every direction. The cannon just moves up and down and shoots a, a ch uh, shot that you have to charge the distance for, so it's kind of interesting. Charge the distance not uh -oh. really being Ow. the correct term for that, but you get what I mean. 
It's one of those games where it seems like it should be annoying to play, but it's actually pretty fun. Yeah, it actually feels, like, natural. <laughs> yeah. It's just really weird in execution, but I think that sort of adds to it, in my opinion. <laughs> but again, that's not the only thing you do in this game, because... As you can see, little events happen on the map as well, but... See if I can... Yeah, you do that by getting your guy to one of the train stations. Get to the uh, one part that I was trying to... I was thinking of, the... Uh... Are you thinking of the fort? Yeah. I, I don't want to yeah, spoil fort, it, because it's are... really weird. <laughs> and... Yeah, uh, neither of us have actually played. Neither of us have actually played this multiplayer, so I don't know how that actually works. I mean, I know how it works, but I mean, I I don't know how like in practice how well it goes though. I like how the like even the little like map marker movements have like they like swing around and stuff when you place them. Yeah, completely extraneous sine wave. Just yeah, it looks good. <laughs> Here we go, another duel to the death, here we go. You see, you press one of the buttons and, you, and like it swaps between them. That was my cavalry, you bastard! <laughs> okay, I won't lie, it is kind of awkward to oh. play, it's weird, but it's still pretty great, though. Oh, I'm playing good tonight. <laughs> I would say I'm probably doing worse. I I played this far less than you have. Hey, at least you still have some infantry alive. <laughs> okay, one horse. I can win the war with one horse. <laughs> I can win the war with one horse. Famous last words. What was that one war that only lasted like 15 minutes and then they called it off because there were too many bees around? <laughs> In chat, why does one of you guys' voices remind me of Mr. Ed? I haven't the slightest idea. Remember, kids, when all, when all seems down, you can always wait with one horse. Yes, even though one horse just died. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I wiped out your army there in that last part. Yeah, that was not exactly my proudest moment as a commander. <laughs> Oh crap! You're actually probably gonna kill my oh, oh Audra. man! <laughs> I was so close. I did it again. <laughs> this is so. Like I said, it's fun, but it's it, it really is weird, though, like... I would be angrier, but it's kind of hard to get that angry at you for shooting up the Confederacy. <laughs> uh, right? <laughs> Every in chat. I think Link can actually win with one horse, never mind. <laughs> Thanks for having some moral support for me there. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna charge you again. Here we go. You mean you're not gonna do the fort? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I think if you kill all the uh, people on the map, you actually instantly win, right? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> oh yeah, you can run faster if you press right. I forgot about that. It's like it, it's... I don't know, something about it kind of reminds me of an Intellivision game, like the sound effects and the graphics. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you upscaled these graphics it would look like an Intellivision game. <laughs> yeah, I'm really bad at trying to do, like, sort of, like, measured, Here we like, go. angle Two shots. horses. 
you bastard. <laughs> One of the famous victories of the Civil War is when the man just pushed his cannon off to the side. <laughs> so this is like bowling, yes, yes it is. Oh, I just retreated, I think. Oh, come on! <laughs> Whatever, it looks like you won. <laughs> yes, that guy couldn't take the shame of having retreated, so he just died. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure I just took over the harbor. <laughs> oh boy, your army is getting stocked back up. <laughs> yep. And I'm gonna put him over there, because that's totally not the most dangerous spot on the map or anything. So, I forgot how you do the bases again or whatever? <laughs> the forts? Uh, well, you make it over to... Georgia, I think that is. Basically where the train line ends. Alright. Actually, you know what? Since you're taking so long, I'll do it. Oh no! So here's the fort. It's probably the weirdest thing in the entire game. It's like a platformer, yeah. but player two can spawn enemies and try and kill player one. <laughs> player one has a set amount of lives. And I am actually controlling the uh, guy throwing the knives too. Well, the blue one. Yeah, the dead one. <laughs> As you can see by the boot along the bottom of the screen, I am actually racing against time right now. <laughs> oh god, I just wasted all of my soldiers. <laughs> Good, now I just have to not do that anymore. <laughs> Great, now I have these extraneous knives. <laughs> Stupid dog. Pretty sure I'm the one who's doing that. Oh, is it... Is it random? Come on, come on, come on! Ah, oh, dynamite! <laughs> so yeah, this is a very realistic and tasteful representation of what happened during the Civil War. <laughs> yes, you're about to see. This this is Custer's last, last stand. <laughs> I, I remember especially when uh, after General Cut right before General Custer lost, he just got in the ground and started crying. <laughs> Is that dark? Well, looks like I'm not having that fort today. I'll get you for that. Stupid dog, you make me look bad. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, I just... Ordered one of my guys into the river, and he did it. <laughs> so did I! <laughs> I think you might actually win this one. Can you win with one cannon? Oh god, I think <laughs> you can take the bridge out. Oh, 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 he got me! <laughs> oh no, I well, think you won! Losing again. Oh, yeah, here's the text flipping. Wait, Good news, that. you won! Bad news, you let the Confederacy win. <laughs> no, dude, read the text. Bravo, Captain! Aw, oh, crap. You obviously didn't take history in school, it said. <laughs> Must be some traitors in your ranks, I wonder who. That just happened. Well, that was north and south. <laughs> should we go again, or should we change? Uh, I don't think that we can let history go on having let that happen. Alright, so I'm gonna make it more accurate, okay? <laughs> Level one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> gonna be I'm a really sure balanced game. Outside the... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that doesn't actually have any effect if it's not a computer. 
say I don't really know why there'd be a handicap in a multiplayer game like this. Ah, uh, let's see if it actually does anything. Nope, seems about the same. There we go, it's given me a reason to blame you if I lose. No, people are posting the uh, win text in the chat complete with, like, reverse text. <laughs> well, down to one horse again. I was gonna sneak that one shot in on you. <laughs> oh no, I just retreated by accident again. <laughs> Oh, uh, what the- <clears throat> Just becomes one giant clusterfuck after a while. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I just can't believe that there's an NES game out there where you can make the Confederacy win the Civil War. <laughs> yeah, drugs bad. <laughs> Satanic imagery bad, letting racists win a okay. There's a joke about the presidential election here, but I'm not gonna make it. No, we don't want to get too edgy now. <laughs> yeah, that joke's gonna date really well in, like, yeah. <laughs> the future. Implying I don't delete this stream afterwards or something. So if you just showed someone, like, this animation out of context? I think they'd be very confused, yes. You know, there's probably something happening on Twitter I'm missing. <laughs> or not. Uh, you wanna check up on that? I just did, there's nothing. <laughs> See it in chat, oh no, I just, I re just retweeted by accident again. <laughs> All right, so storm cloud means you can't move. Okay. I moved two pieces onto one spot. I've really won the tight war now. <laughs> yeah, well, I've just got more bags. So take that. I just moved two pieces onto a storm cloud. Well done, Captain. So yeah, this must be extremely enthralling for the viewers to watch. I oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're at four viewers right now. It dropped by like eight. <laughs> uh, you think we should switch games? Probably. <laughs> so see, I was actually having fun too. <laughs> All right, we'll do one fight and then we'll swap, okay? <laughs> oh, oh god, geez. I have more. <laughs> there are so many cannonballs that the NES can't uh -oh. handle it. I'm getting a call from my dad. My awful ringtone's going off. Be right back. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I'm fine. All right, love you. Bye. Anyways, uh, I managed to stab some of your soldiers while I was on the phone, so I consider that a personal life accomplishment. Yeah, I'll give you that one. <laughs> okay, you won. That's it. Right, what's next? Uh, oh man, they have nuts and milk. That, that brilliant classic. Does they even have, like, cooperative two-player? No, it doesn't. I don't know, I just remember, like, reading the name of that one somewhere and thinking it was slightly rude. I think everyone did. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, we can do Zombies Ate My Neighbors. All right, I'm going to confess for a moment. This is going to sound really weird. Almost probably her heretical, that word. I have never actually played this game. <laughs> I have heard everyone talk about this, but I have never played Zombies Ate My Neighbors before. So you're saying even Chris Bores got to it before you? Yes. <laughs> wow. I have heard lots of good things about this game. I have been preached to to hell and back about it, and I have never, ever played it. But wouldn't it be nice to get all of them to shut up? Yeah. Well, all you have to do is connect. I, I did connect, actually. Oh, you did? Yeah. Because it doesn't say you did. Oh, uh, we might be using the wrong ROM or something. Let's find out. Oh, I'm scrolling back up through the stuff you sent me. Uh, Street Fighter 2 Hype Modified Edition. Yeah, we gotta do that. I don't even know what that is, but it looks beautiful. So are we doing that right now, or are you getting the right zombies, I'm, I'm get, Rob? I'm getting the zombies, Rob, yeah. Ah, alright. Hold on, I'm gonna do the thing real quick. There we go. All right. Is this not already the best game you've ever played? Like, I, I kind of know what it is. It's like a top-down shootery thing, but... Like, I don't really know, like, the specifics about it. Well, it looks like you've already got the hang of it, basically. <laughs> Whereas it took me way too long to figure out which button it was to shoot. <laughs> Seems simple enough. These enemies, like, spawn, like, every, like, milliseconds. <laughs> yeah, it's especially fun in the later levels when you get, like, the giant ants and stuff. Yo, I found the exploit already. <laughs> this is truly... Yep, this could go on for days. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna do that, I'm just gonna, like, never actually play this game ever, and just, like, go to bed, wake up, check it, just minimize, and just leave it there. <laughs> yeah, just in the future, after the end of the world, that trampoline will still be going gonna be like those clickbait like those clickbait like paper mario glitch videos after 500 years jumping on this trampoline crashes the game it's like after playing metroid non-stop for 300 years the nes can't handle it anymore isn't that just an age ridley motherfucker then well yeah but you could also do it by like you know actually doing that in play, you can keep a stable power source. <laughs> and what, are you saying that would be impossible? <laughs> well, theoretically it's not, but at the same time, that's also a really stupid and bad idea. <laughs> yeah, I think I know where we're missing someone. <laughs> and we'll find them in a couple of weeks, at this rate. <laughs> Here we go. Zombies ate my neighbors, we're like trampoline the video game. <laughs> Why are we saving this guy again? I mean, obviously he's in no threat of being eaten. Yeah, the, after the, no, during the apocalypse, people are going to find out the ultimate strategy to defeating zombies is jumping on the trampoline. <laughs> Evening of the undead, get it? Because it's n n dawn. Oh. Never mind. 
All right, why does that guy need saving? It looks like he could stab a zombie, like, way better than either of us could. <laughs> You'd think so, wouldn't you? Also, thanks for taking all the good guns. <laughs> And you even took the pool, idiot. <laughs> See, she's got the right idea. She's jumping on the trampoline. She knows. Yeah, I'm, most of these people, they really don't need saving. Yeah, I know the old joke about half of these people. Such an old joke that even Dorkly made a video on it, so you know it's a stale joke. <laughs> there, that, that was my edgy joke of the night. Thank you, thank you. Man, first you take all the good weapons, then you make the audience sit through that. Yep. <laughs> There's a reason why we only have four viewers. <laughs> because no one <laughs> likes me. <laughs> and then, how can this happen to be so plain? What, what? Uh, that wasn't bullshit at all. Yeah. <laughs> So, you can throw, like, soda at these zombies and they die, like, how is anyone in danger? Because <laughs> everybody's an idiot except us. Also in the game. <laughs> Okay, now you're really just gonna drive away the viewer. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta we get, get su to. You gotta get super pretentious and annoying tonight. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. What else can I say? Um... Like, Sonic Boom was a good game. <laughs> okay, no one's going to believe that one. <laughs> Yeah, I should just stop while I'm ahead. Hey, no, I'm pretty sure you can blow open, like, cracked walls and stuff with that bazooka. I just realized we have soda cans, a water gun, and then we actually have a bazooka. <laughs> Welcome to Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Enjoy your stay. But yeah, these zombies, like, you could just, like, stare at them funny and they would just, like, incinerate. <laughs> yeah, just wait, the weapons get even more ridiculous. <laughs> we did it, I guess. I must say, this game's got some good music. Yeah. <laughs> I say, you saved more victims bonus. That's truly a stupendous name. <laughs> Yes, reward the one who's already got more points. That's, um, <laughs> some game design. Yeah, as I was saying before about absurd weapons, this is when it really starts to get out there. Jeez, the re recoil on the rocket launcher is so bad. Oh, wait, hang on. I got this. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm not, not even gonna ask. Good. It's probably actually the most sane thing that's happened so far. <laughs> there we go. Tomatoes. Oh, we can throw uh, tomatoes at clowns. zombies? Yes. This is my game. <laughs> the icon just looks like some sort of horrifying, like, humor or something. I probably should have saved the potion for when I really needed it, but, uh, you know, is I just didn't resist. Is that a kid with an axe? It sure is. Oh my god, he, like, explodes! <laughs> this is the best video game ever made! Oh god, they can still get you when they're on fire. 
fun baby, my favorite. <laughs> And also got Tim. Save the stupid regular babies. They can't just catch on fire and kill everything. Yeah, Tim as well. <laughs> Alright, I have no idea where we're going already. <laughs> uh, down here, I think. Oh, you can throw popsicles too. That's something. <laughs> that was an axe, like, for a second. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that even the IRA gamer made a joke about that one. <laughs> when, when, when I beat the level, I'm gonna say, let's blow this popsicle stand, cause... Get it? I think you've used up your joke far too early. <laughs> I would just like to remind you again. <laughs> I of think there's course, a, there's a this cheerleader gotta get in some extra cheer practice while hiding from the zombies. <laughs> not a steel joke or anything. Alright, now what's this potion do? Yeah, it's gonna be like Toe Jam and Earl. It is! Oh. Like, you just like do one thing and then like it looks exactly the same and then like it just like damages you. <laughs> oh, there's a first aid kit down there. How do we Whoa. get it? Are you gonna... There, I'll, I'll give you that one because I'm feeling slightly off less awful. Alright, who are you and what have you done with Smetis? <laughs> Yeah, a clown making these awful noises. <laughs> oh, I'm dropping the clowns. Okay. Uh, I dropped the first one. You dropped the second one. I'm out of weapons. How am I out of weapons? <laughs> By firing them all willy nilly like you were. So how am I gonna even beat this game without them? <laughs> By finding some more. That looks like something. Oh, it's a gun. Cool. And Chucky just killed a neighbor of some kind. I didn't even see what it was. Alright, there's a key. So is this game just like G-rated Doom? <laughs> That's top down. Basically, yeah, except I don't think you save civilians in Doom. Whenever I hear the doo doo, doo doo, I just think it's gonna be Green Hill Zone for some reason. <laughs> Right, somewhere that we haven't been, someone is still hiding out. Or you gotta steal the irate gamer Jeff. Why is it called Zombies Ain't My Neighbors if there are barely any zombies in it? That was a complete paraphrase, but yeah. It should be called a predictable joke, Ain't My Neighbors. <laughs> neighbors Ain't My Neighbors. Chris Bars Ain't My Neighbors. I don't that's know. gonna be the title of my autobiography. <laughs> Chainsaw Hedge Maze Mayhem. That's like a sounds like an awful doom one, actually. <laughs> oh god, why is the chainsaw sound so awful in this? I think we have bigger problems at hand right now. <laughs> what do you mean that chainsaw sound is just so loud? Alright, so we got like Jason Voorhees ripoffs that are defeated by throwing popsicles at them. No, the popsicles aren't defeating them. Help! Help! Oh, I can do that. Wait a minute, can you kill these guys? Okay, apparently like you can. You oh no, you them. can just knock them out! <laughs> I mean, they're like Jason Voorhees, so I guess that makes sense, but... <laughs> and I think I'm dead. I think shit just got real. <laughs> Jason Voorhees versus the clowns. Uh, <laughs> 
Really, I don't know where he's going with any of these jokes tonight. Man, if you still had that bazooka, we could just blow our way through these walls. Only two people viewing when there was far more at the beginning, I know. Also, I think you just gave over. Which is great because I have no weapons. You have one more clown, make it count. <laughs> there's a good, there's another good out of context quote. You have one more clown, son, make it count. Your life depends on the clown. Well, if your life depends on that clown, I think you're screwed. That's like the most understated reaction to get a chase on your face. Ow. Yeah, oh, it's goosebumps, okay. You know, I'm thinking that this this all seems like a really awful goosebumps novel. <laughs> Book, whatever. So should we switch games now? I don't think we're gonna be able to top that. Yeah, let's switch games. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you type that first. Should put Mr. be Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Arse. There's only half the joke complete now. <laughs> What other game lets you be Mr. or Mrs. on the screen? So yeah, that was clearly Game of the Year right there. <laughs> Unfortunately, a year that's long gone. <laughs> so what else do we have? Could we um, bumble around in Gunstar Heroes or something? Uh, let's see... We wait, have we're... River City Ransom. Oh wait, we have the uh, Street Fighter boot, uh, not bootlegs, but hacks. I think we should get to that. Right, I'm going into Hype Modified Edition. All right, Hype Modified Edition, not Hyper Hype. Uh, so far, not seeing any major difference. All right. Street Fighter 2. Uh. Wait a minute. This is just the regular game. Hold on. Don't count your chickens. Hey, don't tell me what to do. I'll count my chickens all I want. <laughs> I was hoping that silence was gonna go on for longer, but okay. <laughs> All right, let's try this. It gets a weird head because those are the only characters I'm really any proficient with. Oh, Even though that's oh, a he's really good music. <laughs> Already, I love this. Uh, oh. <laughs> How is that even happening? It just seems random. <laughs> are you hype yet? I'm hype. Hype modified, even. <laughs> Is it what are you doing like next to no damage? <laughs> what is this and why does it exist? Oh no, it's like a uh, or whatever. You can do moves in midair. <laughs> I love this already. It is literally like a rainbow set, like hack. <laughs> I like how he even just stays in the first frame of animation when he does that. How are you doing that? I'm just doing the, the special moves over and over. <laughs> oh, time over. So yeah, this is the best Street Fighter ever. Street Fighter 7 right here. I would make an Evo joke, but I think we've already made like 20. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, 
Man, I bet you the Smash Tournament people don't have to put up with this crap. <laughs> Best killer instinct ever. <laughs> I think I already made a joke like that last stream, but yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually somehow KO each other. It seems like we have way too much health to do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it takes the full 90 seconds to do that. <laughs> to be fair, we're just fl flying around in midair anyways. It's like we're playing. Can win. It's like we're playing City Fighter on the pop station or something. <laughs> All he needs is the arms and legs thrown off. I'm gonna be Honda this time. I really hope I can do what I'm thinking I can do. Oh, I can't swap characters mid-fight like you can in Korea or whatever. I don't know how to it. Alright, we gotta... Chill out my stream on Twitch for a second. Hold on. We're playing Bootleg Street Fighter 2 on the SNES, and it's wonderful. I typed in Fighter 2. Good job, man. Um, hey, I think it's broke. <laughs> I just clicked back. Oh, uh, sure, it lets you hit. This is this is a fair and balanced game. <laughs> this is the Project M of Street Fighter. I've never played Project M. I can't vouch for that. The accuracy of that sentence. Wait, I can do the move while it, it's in the wind thing. <laughs> Round two. I gotta wonder, like, did someone actually try to make this, or did they just accidentally corrupt their rock and think, hey, that's cool? <laughs> I like to think it's sort of both. Like, they just sort of, like, they have, like, this, like, negative, like, 50% knowledge of assembly. They just, like, decompiled the ROM and were like, hey, this is, this, this variable does the thing, let's change it. Did you just break out of being thrown there? I think so. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you somewhere in like Japan or something, there's someone who's like, You're still playing regular Street Fighter 2? Check this out. <laughs> Warning for use in Taiwan only. Life is too short to be little. And then there's that one that has the uh, final fight opening text on the copyright screen. <laughs> have I shown you that? Because that one is wonderful. <laughs> I don't think you have. Uh, someone uncovered, like, a, a new rainbow set from somewhere. And uh, one of the things that it does is, uh, like I said, the uh, copyright warning screen the uh, for use in Japan only. Uh, it's part of the intro text from Final Fight now. I don't know why, but... <laughs> But the, one of my favorite things is, uh, they messed with the parallax scrolling so badly, it looks like fake 3D. <laughs> like, it just goes, like, so out of bounds. It looks like, it looks like Tekken 1. <laughs> it's hilarious, and you need to see it. Alright, new Rainbow Set Street Fighter 2. I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually dig this up again, but I know, I know I saw this once. It was amazing. If someone has a link to this, I, I, I will be so happy, because it, it really made my day when I saw it. <laughs> Uh, should we switch games now? Because I think we've pretty much extracted all the material we can get out of this yeah. one. <laughs> sure. So, uh, should we take another crack at River City Ransom? I don't know. I, I don't think it's one of those games that would really bode well on stream for too long. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I, I love the game, but yeah. 
Well, I suppose if push really comes to shove, we could just fire up anticipation again. <laughs> Your really, really original new concepts. <laughs> to be fair, it probably would drag in views, but nah. <laughs> we should do more Coney, apparently. <laughs> King Pepe just arrived in chat. Uh, have we got any Coney? Pretty sure we do. Oh, you sent you over Street Blaster, didn't I? I don't think you did. Street Blaster 5 Turbo... Oh, it doesn't work in the emulator, though. Crap. Oh, no, I got one that works. I got one that works. We got, uh, Fighter 16 people Street... 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 <laughs> It doesn't actually say street several times, but I wish it did. That would that would be so much better. Oh, uh, hold on. This should be it. You know you have a quality fighting game on your hands whenever they put the word peoples in the title? Yeah, peoples. Oh yeah, with Saget. I don't think this is the one with Saget though, but if it is, that will be so that will be great. That, that's a good menu sound. <laughs> Someone smacking the noise channel really hard. Oh yeah, pe pepple, pepples, pepples. Uh, my graphics are corrupted to hell and back. Really? Uh, yeah. Are you loading it in actual Metnafen or? You yeah, I mean, I, 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 that's why I'm showing it on stream right now. Street Blaster Pro Two. Well, Street Blaster 2 Pro, UNLP1. Oh, I'm using the wrong ROM. Yeah, you just sent me over. I sent Street you Fighter the fixed. I sent you the uh, fixed one. Now uh, this is this isn't Street Blaster. Oh, you know this this one's just Street Fighter. Okay, what whatever. <laughs> yeah, the ROM that you just sent over. I don't think it's the one that you're playing. Uh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, the one I'm looking at right now... It's, it's Street... Street Blaster 2 Pro P1. This right here. Oh, I sent you Street Fighter V20. Crap. Yeah, because this is what it looks like on my end. Yeah. <laughs> s s s blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, got, everyone's got to see this. See. Right, give me a second to get this fixed. Yeah, everyone's got to see this. This is brilliant. Got, oh, here it is. It's s 3 3 e 3 blah, 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 blah. T copyright side A, yeah, it's that. <laughs> All right. And somehow I'm player one again. I, I disconnected to check the thing. Oh, all right. All right, press select and admire the good sound. <laughs> all right, here we go. We've got Ryu, Dark Ryu. Ihanda. Now that is a character select screen right there. Dark, yeah, one, two, three, one to eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F, O. <laughs> it's like it's like the uh, ASCII version of Street Fighter. <laughs> Street Fighter is rendered by like a 1970s like military network or something. <laughs> I, I gotta know that blood type. Yeah. Alright, uh, already this is going swell, I can't seem to do anything so far. I remember the, uh, button combinations for every character in these is, like, the exact same for us. A, B, and then a direction to do a special move. <laughs> yeah, the controls are just awful. And there's no scrolling, if you didn't notice that. <laughs> like, the characters move yeah, like there should be... terrible. 
Yeah, the, the characters move like they should be scrolling, as you can see, but the background doesn't change. I, I just... I yeah, just... I'm not trying to jump backwards, it's just doing that on its own. You can already hear that wonderful soundtrack as well. Yeah, I'm sure it's only been in about a million other Kony games. <laughs> yeah, because the original Co Kony port wasn't crap enough, they decided to hack it again. <laughs> Yeah, so, like what would you say the thing, the, move and the thing we were playing we before was better than this? I tell you what, you know what was really good? That one Mortal Kombat <laughs> one where you punch someone Ninja. and they blow up? Ninja. Oh yeah, the Kony one. <laughs> Alright. Should we play that? Did we do that in the stream before? <laughs> no, I think we just did that one like when we were first testing out Medinafen. Hold on, wait a second, does the wind say- windscreen say haha, very easy congregation, I need to f figure this out right now. Cause I- I've seen people post that in the chat. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely Dalsim stage. I remember the forklifts too, it was my favorite part. <laughs> that, that was a good fight right there. It sure was. Yeah, I don't really think I've been on peak tonight just because my brain's been fried by college. I've just kind of had an off day today, really. It's been kind of just weird. Yeah, I can't wait. It's just like one more week and then I'm out of here. Like, meanwhile, I have like two whole full weeks of waiting before break, which is annoying. I remember there was one hack of this Coney Street Fighter game that had like a carrot that uh, the uh, Dulcim. There it is! <laughs> ha ha! Very easy congression. That's that's congression. All. Yeah. Oh, what was I about to say? I just forgot. Oh no! I just found out one of the other Street Fighter bootlegs works. <laughs> nah, no, no, no. Street Fighter. Yeah, we gotta do that one Mortal Kombat right, one. Street Fighter Five Twenty People's Works, the one with Goku on the character select. Hold on, I, I you sure? That was the one I just loaded up and was giving me all that graphical garbage. Oh, this one doesn't even have any character names. It's just blank with like ominous red health bars. <laughs> People on stream can see that, probably, but yeah. Uh, what now? Uh, what are we playing again? I forgot. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, have you got Mortal Kombat Trilogy MK5 in your, uh, ROMs folder? Pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. This one's... Uh, which one? 16 player? Yeah, 16 player. Have you connected already? Oh, okay, there we go. I have now. So... I normally don't say things aloud, but the only way you can describe this game is me magic. It is just truly just a stupendous work of brilliance. Unfortunately, it doesn't have Tom Cage in it, but oh well. So imagine Mortal Kombat, but drawn in MS Paint, composed in like... Using that like MIDI converter that everyone like obsesses about on the internet. <laughs> and gameplay programmed by a... A chimp that has snorted like several different types of glue. I don't know where this is. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> but it has the best blood effects ever. It, it really does, though. You gotta see this. 
There you go, you just punched the fortune cookies out of each yeah. other. <laughs> just punch like croissants. And again, since this is Coney, the button combinations are exactly the same. Immortal Kombat, except not good. I've never heard a more apt description. <laughs> That's basically everything Coney's ever done. <laughs> Insert game here, but not good. <laughs> Yeah, punch people to create red sausages. <laughs> Read in the chat there. We gotta show off the fatality, though. The fatality is the best part. There's yeah, one. Definitely. In, yeah, there's one. Yeah, quartet mumble. My favorite and it looks game. like I'm about to have it done on me just because <laughs> of the way this fight's going. I use. I, I think we both use fight with caution. <laughs> Watch this. That was the fatality, everybody. <laughs> it made me explode into red hand grenades. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you have to join it, I forgot. I'm trying to... Oh, there we go. Does it say Player 2 has entered tournament? <laughs> yep. Good. Honestly, this game's a lot funnier when you play it the first time, but like, I'm like the second and third, it just sort of wears out its welcome. Even more so than it does at first. <laughs> Although this music is great, you gotta be quiet. See so, ya. Yeah. yeah, that almost stands up to Buffy the Vampire Slayer for the Game Boy Color. Oh, yeah. Blab, 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 blab. I don't even, like, know what they were trying to go for with that. Oh, yeah, the pit theme in Cody's MK1 port, yes. <laughs> that bit of musical brilliance. It says there's eight people watching for me. <laughs> but then again, X splits, like, delayed, so... It says 8 on Twitch, too. Oh, I just almost did something that was kind of like a combo there, but not really. <laughs> Alright, so I don't really get how the kicking works in this game. Like, sometimes you block, but sometimes you don't. So I'm just... I think it has something to do with what directions you're holding. Oh yeah, the uppercut, you have to press down a... Down A and B all at the same time. <laughs> you can just hold down and hit A and B. Yeah. You gotta get that glorious fatality again. Here it comes. Oh my god, my body parts wrapped around to the other side of the screen. <laughs> MK5 combo video when? Actually, I wanna see if the other Mortal Kombat bootlegs work in here. Stop that. Oh my god, it does! <laughs> Which one? Mortal Kombat, uh... The other Mortal Kombat 5, but it's the one that's Mortal Kombat 1. I've got it open right now. Uh, is this the one with that pit theme? Yes. No, don't spoil it for the viewers. It's 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 just brilliant. See, this title... This someone in the chat mention it. This title, this title screen right here, <laughs> this title screen already gives you a really good indicator of the quality contained within it. Just looks like someone traced over the Super Nintendo screen <laughs> in like MS Paint. Reminder: these were being sold for like actual money in like Russia and China and stuff. These are real games that they put out. <laughs> Unironically. <laughs> Oh, we gotta connect. I forgot. Alright, here we go. Hey, where have I heard this music before? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be a uh, Raiden, 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 Raiden. <laughs> oh, that's really good. You can't go up and down. Yeah, you have to actually, like, wrap around the cursor. <laughs> I'm gonna be a uh, 
Sub-Zero, I think. So wait, is this Sub-Zero or is this Scorpion? Is that Ermac? <laughs> is this Noob Saibot? What's I, I, going I like, on here? I like how one of the rows is orange for some reason and the rest are, like, purple. Zoo! <laughs> <laughs> Zoo! <laughs> well, is no Tom Cage, but it'll have to do. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this one is the one with... This one also has, like, ridiculous names for the recolor. <laughs> But yeah, this is not the pit theme. It's not I a very think good. So, this, this ain't the pit. Yeah. I like the statue in the back. It just like completely just. It looks so bad. I I, I want to remind you that uh, when I'm doing the uh, punching animation there. I'm 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 not touching the controller. It's doing that on its own. <laughs> Way to go! You just killed me with boredom. <laughs> so uh, we got uh list out the uh new ninja names. We got a ninja ninja killer. Who Nin else? Ken Ninben. Yeah, Zoo. <laughs> we gotta see who else will join the fray. <laughs> Oh, it says Bounds on the top, too! Forgot about that. Watch when you beat- when you beat- When someone wins. Watch the HUD. It's great. Man, why can't I jump forwards? <laughs> or are you gonna do the ultimate fatality? Watch. Bounce! <laughs> <laughs> right, we gotta find out what these other ninjas are. 2P has to select Kano in the top right. Okay, I'm doing that right now. <laughs> I gotta see what you're talking about. Right, what do we got? Yoko! <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm just Sub-Zero again. Oh, oh, they're, uh, he's trying to get us to, uh, show off the brilliant composition that is the <laughs> pit theme. So is this the pit? No, this is the court ground or whatever. Playing the music we've never heard before. Man, why is it that the, why is it that it feels like the, the, the gameplay game? in this one is actually like worse than the other one? <laughs> At least the other one knew when to stop punching. <laughs> like it feels less responsive somehow. <laughs> yeah, it's like can you jump in any direction other than straight up in the air? Oh, I like how all the uh opponents oh Sonya on the top row, fourth from row, okay. Alright, that was that was that was a fight, I think. But yeah. I have lost. I have failed my Bounds. ancestors. Yeah. Sonya top row, fourth from row, okay. I'm presuming it's this one then. Alright, I'll be mustachio over here. I'm guessing this is the theme they were talking this about? This is the theme. Yes. <laughs> also, yes, this looks like Shang to you, doesn't it? <laughs> Shang! <laughs> Gonna be honest, the first time I heard this theme, it actually kind of spooked me. <laughs> it's just so awful. <laughs> Yeah, everyone in chat's both like psh, 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 psh. Good drums. Man, this is the worst psychedelic rock album I've heard in my life. You mean you haven't heard Attila? <laughs> hey, oh, so I like how you, you get a finish him prompt. On round one.
I'm sorry, is this music driving you nuts? Because it's driving me nuts. I was already nuts. <laughs> Wait, where did, where did my life go? <laughs> I took it. Okay, that's enough of this. <laughs> that music is so good that Yoko had to put their name on the stage twice to remind you who made it. <laughs> no, three times. Composed by Yoko Odo. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that Yoko Ono licensed her image for this game. <laughs> well, okay, not really. <laughs> Alright, what other brilliant classics of video game gaming can we find? Oh, um, should we play the... I, mean, I want to play the Action 52 thing just to show off the one glitch in the strategy game live. Oh, skirmish? Yeah. yeah. Let's go for it. But yeah, I posted a video on this, like, a while back. But I just want to show you this for real, because it's brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, if we're gonna do this, we have to do all the two-player games. Right, we'll do all of them then, but... Skirmish is my favorite. Uh, Great it was my skirt. video strategy good. <laughs> playing it with, uh... Ronnie, I believe. We just found that out by complete accident that that works. <laughs> so I'm gonna say something right now. I honestly think the Genesis version of Action 52 is... Honestly, worse than the, the NES one. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's not really worse from a gameplay standpoint, but it pisses me off a lot more, like, what went into it. Like, the thing is that it's, I guess, like, from a technical standpoint, it's better, but it just doesn't have the same sort of, like, broken charm the first one has, and everything is just so just bland in comparison, like... These yeah, are, I, like, the test programs that you make when you're first starting to learn games, except they yeah. just stop right there. Yeah. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Anyways, Star Duel. Level one. Apparently, Color of Dinosaur has the same music as that one game there? <laughs> really? <laughs> In chat, don't compare the majesty of Color of Dinosaur to this. Oh, well, the guys behind Color of Dinosaur were responsible for this. Great. Is a lot. But yeah, here is a. Uh, imagine asteroids, but. No, space duel, but awful. And you got this. <laughs> and now all of a sudden there's a spread shot. And also you keep shooting when you're dead. Yeah, I had to turn that down. It was kind of loud. I had it turned up when I was showing off the beautiful music from earlier. I they like couldn't even code a health bar, so they just give you a damage number that counts up. Yeah. <laughs> Sound effects are brilliant. I like how sometimes you can shoot when you're dead, but sometimes it doesn't work. It's just so good. Authentic it's like it depends on the round or something. Authentic Genesis farts. Level seven. I swear, these between-level transitions are lasting longer than the actual level. Yeah! <laughs> so yeah, I can, this game takes a lot of skill and strategy to really just plan out. It's, it's a very, very complex and in-depth game. Yes. Actually, everything I just said was a lie. <laughs> it was? <laughs> I think that was the end. Ah, oh, rats. That means we don't get to play it anymore. Oh no, what a shame. Alright, here we go. The... Alright, are you ready for, uh... So we were playing North and South earlier, but to be honest, I think this game destroys it in any, any sort of way, shape, or form. <laughs> Alright, you know what to do, you know what to pick. Because it's great. Alright. Yeah, it takes a lot of effort to suck at it. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for strategy? Because this is very strategy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you guys are ready for strategy. 
We're gonna show off the actual gameplay after this, but just, just watch. Yes, you can just pick up your entire building and move it. I'm just gonna draw this out for a little, cause it, it just, I just want you to wait for it. Yeah, you can just pick up your base and move it on your own. <laughs> Player one wins, even though I moved over. <laughs> See, I like to think that you just smashed your entire headquarters into my wall and. <laughs> Or you gotta and show then it just kicks you back to the title yeah, screen. Yeah, we gotta show off the actual gameplay, which makes even less sense somehow. Right. This time, don't get a headquarters. Yeah. It doesn't really matter... <laughs> doesn't really matter which one you pick. Yeah, let's but, go Highlands. But yeah, the thing is, is that with the uh, weird base glitch there... It doesn't matter who override... No, who, like, laps over what... It will always count as player one's victory for some reason. It's just that well programmed. Uh, right. And again, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. You can, as long as you only have two of these, you can put them out in the play field. I don't, I don't get it either. I don't know what the glowing tiles do, to be honest. I guess they're just another way to block you. Yeah, they are. Alright. Here comes strategy. Alright, so are you ready for good gameplay? Here is here is the ultimate. It's like Wait a minute, what am I playing as? <laughs> That's a cannon! That doesn't look phallic in the slightest. Really? I thought it was some kind of wingless jet. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, the uh, exhilarating combat essentially revolves down to The music totally fits what's going on yeah. right now, by the way. Pretty to be honest right now, if I were to play this legit, I would litter I would have beaten him already. In fact, I'm going to do that right now, because I'm way too fast. Right, here we go again. It is unbalanced hell in this. Wait, did I win? <laughs> oh, nope. Wait, I think uh, I did. Yeah, you won. Wait, I, I thought I, I I killed all your pieces though, didn't I? Yes, you did. Player one selects. <laughs> yes, that's right. In order to lose, you have to actually put down a headquarters, but there's nothing to make you do that. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Skirmish, the strategy game without the strategy. Also, there's no way to do the usual quit maneuver, so we have to actually physically reset it. Oh, uh, what was the button? The ch oh, I got it. That right. one. <laughs> Reminder: I'm pretty right. sure this cost as much as the original Action 52 did too. <laughs> so, anyways, here is Tekken 5. Are yes, you? it's the only game I've ever heard of where the cartridge costs more than what they probably paid the programmers. <laughs> So as you can see, the hit detection in this is very precise. They really made sure to make sure no match feels like you've been cheated, and that it's all your fault that you failed. So here we go, Mike Tyson versus Mike Bison. <laughs> also, you can jump in boxing. You can jump and you can't punch. The jump is pretty much pointless. Aside from getting away when you're not being stun locked. What's funny is uh, I played a, uh, <laughs> this is not Soul Call, it's Calibur, yeah, reading chat though. Wait a minute, this isn't Mortal Kombat, this is not Soul Calibur. <laughs> is this Mr. Sandman versus Mr. Sandman? Yes, yes it is. But yeah, the only thing that you can rip the jumps useful for is to get out of the way where you're not being stunned like, there's like no point to having it. <laughs> Especially since, like, it, 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 it's really just luck that determines whether you win or not. Like, how little effort do you have to put in to make a game that's somehow actually a step down from Rock'em Sock'em Robots? <laughs> but yeah, I was gonna meant say earlier, I, I had this ROM on my PSP, I don't know if it was the exact same ROM, but... When I, would, when I played this game, 
I, I just did it because I was just going through all the games. I, obviously, this is a two-player only game, so the player two didn't do anything, but... Whenever I would punch anywhere on the screen, and I mean anywhere on the screen, player two would take a hit. I am not kidding. <laughs> you could be standing on the other side of the ring and it would still count as a hit. It was weird. And it just- Oh dear, I think the game crashed. <laughs> Alright, armor battle. I remember there being something really screwed up about this. Oh yeah, armor! <laughs> it starts out innocently enough, it's just sort of like the, uh, combat and skirmish, but it, it, it escalates. It really, really escalates. <laughs> oh, so your tank bleeds for some reason, but yeah. Suddenly, you start shooting like this! Yep. <laughs> To really just, it's like, it's like a gameplay mutator, but awful. <laughs> Inverted, like, every direction shoots, like, differently, too. It's weird. Then armor battle, here we go again. Now it skews your shots when you're facing vertically, okay. Yeah. Wait a minute, I think what it's doing is, look, it shoots faster when I go that way. Yeah, I know, I was gonna mention that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure what's going on here is there's just a script that's moving all the bullets. Yeah, probably. Level four. <laughs> yep, now it's pulling them down. This is giving me flashbacks to the uh, game I was trying to work on for, for a Halloween Plebeian there. I had a very similar thing in it where it would like screw with the controls if you had the uh, effects on. And it did pretty much the exact same thing this does with the bullets on one of the effects. It would just, like, start making them go sideways. <laughs> so there it was meant to screw with you. Here it's just kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah, the game is guessing where your shots are gonna fly off to next. <laughs> yeah. How much do you want to bet if they'd written a manual for this, they would have explained it away as, like, in each round, the wind is different. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's balanced. Look at that. That's not. N don't hit each other. Just want to show off the bullets in comparison. <laughs> that is. Yeah, some, look at that. That's some fair gameplay. Fair and balanced. Ouch. It's like I'm watching some, like, weird, like, sort of comedy, like, war sketch. She just, like, shoots out of the tank and it just goes sideways for some reason. Get over here. I'm gonna shoot you up. <laughs> oh, man. I died. It she shoots it and it just goes, like, straight upwards. You know, I'm pretty sure you were kidding, but look. <laughs> I did it. I think. Do that... you feel proud of yourself? No. <laughs> that, was, that was a video game. <laughs> maybe. Speaking of a video game, maybe. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna show you how to screw up Pong, because it's a lot easier than you'd think. First off, for more keen-eyed viewers... You may, you notice... may notice that the ball is invisible. Yeah! <laughs> This happens sometimes, but not all the time. I'll reset the game. How do you reset the game? Uh, hang on. No, I'm trying to do, like, oh, F11. There we go, yeah. We have first game. Some brilliant fact-checking. Fact really Chris Bors tier. Right, Alan, let's try that again. Alan Acorn. There we go! <laughs> oh darn, I could not move that fast. <laughs> if only I had an analog controller of some kind. <laughs> but, uh, for those with a keen eye, you may notice that the pedal on the right is actually, like, horizontally a bit off from the side of the screen in comparison to the left pedal. <laughs> For those with OCD, that's going to now, like, ruin this forever for you. <laughs> also this. 
Yeah, it's Pong, but awful, and I think the ball starts doing stupid things later on. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually get, like, a decent volley going here. It's like trying to play Arkanoid with a uh, controller. It just doesn't work. I mean, at least in, like... No, Most no one, no one involved in Action 52 on the NES was involved. This was by Farsight Technologies, who also who also made uh, Art Alive on the Genesis, Color a Dinosaur, and uh, a few other things I probably forgot. Oh yeah, speaking of Art Alive on the Genesis... Oh yeah, <laughs> gotta show this off. <laughs> Alright, does this look familiar to any of you? Probably not, because nobody played Art Alive, but rest assured, this is exactly the same as, it's, it's, um... It's Art Alive without the, without the interface. It's literally Art Alive on the Genesis. Yeah, they made Color a Dinosaur. They actually did. Oh, wait, gotta go back and draw a banana boat. Okay. Because Pepe told me to. Alright. Right. Eh. It's like an Etch-A-Sketch, but awful in every way. <laughs> so how many things have we played that are like something else but awful in every way tonight? <laughs> right, there we go, here's the OR. <laughs> <laughs> Banana Boat, quote, in like 50 quotation marks. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else should I add? Ah oh, yes, we need a sail. Yeah, Color Dinosaur is objectively the best game they've ever made. It just does everything right. Let's see here. I'm gonna make a captain to pilot this banana boat. And... Yep, those are his arms. <laughs> this is his head. <laughs> and I'm gonna give him a spyglass. We got... What's the uh, screenshot? Is F9 okay? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take this when you're done. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm gonna be having him flying on a river of nuclear waste. <laughs> As you can tell by the fact it's glowing. <laughs> I tell you what, the controls for this are magnificent. Like I said, it's an etch a, etch -a sketch, but awful. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's really just, like, Da Vinci, Da Vinci, not Da Vinci, don't get it confused, it's Da Vinci levels of brilliance. It's like, between this and LJN video art, what would you go for? Uh, the, uh, Mind Drive paint program. <laughs> Alright, hang on. I'll let you take over now. I gotta screen cap this first, hold on. Got it, okay. <laughs> Alright, so uh, something you didn't show up, you can you do can diagonals! Your account. What? You can do diagonals, but it's really awful. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, how do you- anyways, How do you like, like I said- screen? Oh, you just quit out, great, good programming. <laughs> yeah, that was my modern art masterpiece, you can post it on your Twitter for only five- Alright, I'm going to make a deep, biting satire of modern society. Watch this. This is... Man. You can tell by the fact that th these are arms and that's a leg and that's a head. And, uh, this is, uh, this, this is, this is iPhone. Is unleashing uh, the Illuminati's brainwaves and corrupting him. So everyone, you have to wake up, sheeple, and I'm gonna try and write that. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. This is awful. Wah! <laughs> Wah! <laughs> wake up. There we go. There we go. There it is. There is. There's my conspiracy theorist wet dream. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I, are you I, gonna sell how many millions are you gonna sell that one for <laughs> we're just gonna spend the rest of the stream just posting making awful art in this actually come to think of it we should get out art alive and just use like the extra stamps and stuff should we do that <laughs> actually you know what I want to do 
I want to do some Taboo the Sixth Sense for some reason. Oh man, yeah! <laughs> Even we, though I know that's not technically like properly multiplayer. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get the spooky magic. I don't know, but yeah. Yes, we gotta get the Halloween special, even though it's almost Christmas. <laughs> I I'm, I already got it open. Uh, I gotta get it into my Medifin folder. Alright, here is. Yeah, Rare made this. Yes, the very same Rare that made all that good stuff in Battle Zones. <laughs> the same company that brought us Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. <laughs> And GoldenEye Reloaded. <laughs> Already made that joke last stream, but I still like it. Alright, I'm in. Yeah, the company known for the great fight amphibians. <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready to voodoo? No. Too bad. Here we go. Also, apparently we have 16 viewers. I This is an accomplishment. All right, I'm See, in control. See, that's the power of voodoo. All right, name. Tom. That's not my real name. Birth no, we date. are Tom Cage tonight. B birth date. Two, 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 one. Okay, good. Oh, 11. Okay. Wait, what? Unfortunately, it actually detects impossible dates. Okay, so which, uh, like, date system are we going? Is it month, day, year? <laughs> I'm thinking that's what they're looking for, uh, yeah. I'll just do one, one, one. Okay, you did it. All right, Wait a minute, where's the option for yes? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, your question. Are you ready for something super spicy? Watch this. What do you... You... I'm anticipating greatness. Get... When... <laughs> Rump... Oh no! <laughs> I was gonna you write out... It. I was gonna write out what do you get when you mix fire and ice because of the Sonic Boom trailer. <laughs> That's it, you've ruined voodoo for everyone. <laughs> also, this music is way too similar to the forest in Super Mario RPG. Okay, I got the king of staffs. This is good luck. <laughs> Your question, Grand Day Devil 4, when? Yes, do you ever ask yourself that? <laughs> Nobody get pestered about it sometimes. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Tell us, give me my fortune, Colonel Sanders. Haha, ha, get it, because it's a Joel reference. All right, here we go. This card is reversed. At this moment, your status is unable to, unable or elected to make decisions. Unhappiness. What? <laughs> yeah, sounds like me, all right. Your immediate influence is, is make careful to sit. Oh, your immediate influence is make, uh, is this, you know what? Okay. I'm pretty sure they're just constructing these sentences out of word banks that they have, like, based on which card you get and what number you get. Within your present frame of reference is a fear of embarrassment or worry hold, or worry holds back new opportunities. Well, you got that one right at least, but the rest of these have just kind of been word salads. The distant past and foundation is possible delay or separation. What does that even mean? So yeah, you'll notice that's kind of a pattern with the taboo of the six senses that all the fortunes are either what? Recent past events are kind or forgiving. <laughs> These are literally just more challenges. Yeah, you'll notice they all either make no sense whatsoever, or are just, like, so generic fortune cookie that really they could apply to anyone. The near forthcoming influence is unable to avoid traps or danger. <laughs> so there's gonna be, like, a burglar that's gonna break into my house, but he's gonna kill himself by tripping up my stairs. 
Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you, you, in a proper perspective, have are adaptable, adaptable to changing circumstances. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Viewed by others, you are to serve one's apprenticeship. Okay. <laughs> oh great, the game thinks I'm a flunky. Your secret fears or wants are a strong feeling of security. I I'm afraid of security, yes, okay. Security and ancestry, okay. The outcome of all previous mentioned problems will be help and assistance towards a specific goal. Wow, nailed it! <laughs> Do you think just because you left the question half finished that's giving us a bunch of non- You think you broke voodoo? Select your state? Really? Alright, uh, get my actual state just so you can dox me and then hack hack my phone number. <laughs> and now they expect you to go out and buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> and that's it, game over, we just won. Alright, should we do Art Alive now? <laughs> Because I just, I really want to do Art Alive. <laughs> Alright, send it over. I know, we should do Pictionary using Art Alive. We'll just get like a, a dictionary generator. <laughs> <laughs> that will be awful, but it would be amazing. Let's do it. But yeah, I'm gonna look up a uh, random dictionary words. <laughs> there it is, random word generator with definitions. And already it's giving me obscure words. This should, this should be good. Alright, I've got it loaded up. Alright. I am connected. Oh yeah, the Pictionary NES game, I remember being kind of okay, but we we have to be as unprofessional as humanly possible. It's the only way. That, that's a good animation right there, I like that. Alright. All right, so, so yeah, where have we seen this before? <laughs> I thought this had, like, extra stamps and stuff, though. Like, I remember there being, like, Sonic in this? Yeah, it does. There was a menu up there, but it disappeared, and now I can't get it back. Oh, yeah, also, you can press this button to change how fast your <laughs> cursor moves. Whoa! But, yeah, I sent you the, uh, random word generator thing. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> Precision accuracy. It's kind of the same thing, precision accuracy, but I'll roll with it. Actually, accuracy is being able to hit the point you want, and precision is being able to repeatedly hit the same point. There you go. Yeah, blast processing at its finest. Wait, is this actually supposed to be something? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Hey, you say this? No. <laughs> I'm gonna see if we can get the menu back. Though. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna draw, generate my first word, and you have to guess what it is. All right. Okay, I got one. I got one that you might be able to figure out. This one is actually in, like, English that isn't, like, archaic. In fact, it's- I'm anticipating greatness. Alright. Here? Okay. Uh, how do you draw? I forgot. Oh, no! Whoa! 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 I like how the music starts when you actually start drawing. <laughs> That looks awful! And it stops when you're not drawing. Yeah! It's like Dig Dug. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the, the lines of the side are non-canon. They, they do not reflect what I'm supposed to be drawing. 
Is it a football? No. Alright, I'll draw the other part of it just to make it easier on you. Is it a mutant football? <laughs> oh, by the way, just stop drawing. You have to press the button again. You don't hold and release or anything convenient like that. Is it a turtle? Close. Very, very close. Tortoise? No. Stick with turtle. A sea turtle? No. It's part of the turtle. Uh, the... The shell of a turtle? You did it, turtle shell! Good job. Merry Christmas. This oh, is, boy. I hate this already. <laughs> Alright, so how do you wipe... Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Somehow we were having more fun with Sketch. Oh, wait, I take that back. Or you gotta spam toe jam everywhere. <laughs> that, that, that's, it's like the solitaire windscreen, but awful. You're just gonna, like, like, go down and then bounce. <laughs> So yeah, this was the Genesis answer to Mario Paint. Yeah, it sure was a success. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I sent you the uh, word generator, not sure if you got it. Indeed you did. Alright, I'll swap it over. Keep it until it gets to something that I can actually draw. Alright. Uh... It's like okay, one of those... It's like one of those paint programs you'd play in kindergarten. Here's the thing, though. I actually like kid paints. <laughs> I can't believe we just said that live on the internet, but yes, I unironically like kid paints still. Mainly because of nostalgia, but yeah. It keeps giving me adjectives and stuff. Help! Get, like, the least, like, abstract one. Um, sorry, I don't know how to draw a burrow monger random word generator. Please keep giving me words. <laughs> Alright, I'll generate uh, a word, send it over, and pretend I don't know what it is. <laughs> nah, no, that well, ain't I, gonna I'm work. Not gonna I have to keep doing this. Needs more math blaster. <laughs> Yeah. All right, here we go. I got one. All right, I got something comprehensible. <laughs> we gotta use the brick palette, cause why not? Yeah. Oh, jeez. It's like the candy uh, cane. It's like the Windows XP screensaver with the candy cane texture. <laughs> uh. Right. Just picture that the other leg looks something like this. Those are legs. <laughs> yeah. Yes, these are legs. You have, like, the sensitivity turned up so bad. Yes. Yes, I did. This uh, requires right. precision and oh. art talent. <laughs> Two things uh, right. both of us lack. <laughs> right, this thing that I have just drawn a box around, uh, ignore that. The thing below it is what you uh, are looking for. Legs. No, keep going. Rabbit foot. <laughs> no. Inhuman abomination. <laughs> well, that what I drew Frog's might be legs? closer. Than... No. <laughs> Dismemberment. <laughs> Gun uh, coffin bullet. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you are horribly wrong. Here, I'll, I'll try again. How did you get to the menu? Okay, there you go. I just, I think I just reset the game, didn't Oh, wait, no, you have to go to the thing on the far right, if I remember. It's the start button. Right, I'm just going to draw over the old image. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, crap. Right, just ignore that. Yeah, the read chat, it looks like a basketball hoop. <laughs> Man, we should have used Mario Paint instead. This never would have happened. I don't even think it has Mario Paint, Mario Paint support or the mouse at least. Uh, right. What do you support objects on that has three legs? 
Tripod? Yes. Yay! I was just glad that it finally gave me something that wasn't like discorporate. <laughs> All right, swap controllers. <laughs> Wipe the. Whose idea was this again? Mine. Oh yeah. You gotta do the uh, congratulatory toe jam spam of victory. <laughs> Oh, this is a good stream. <laughs> we have to have that one, like, gamer moment where everything just, like, grinds to an awful halt. All right, I think that happened as soon as we loaded up Art Alive. <laughs> Alright, time to... Oh, I just had one I could have done. Crap. Right. God, it's giving me... So many. Oh, wait, okay, I got one. This one's gonna be a uh, bit more of an abstract one. It's not a physical object, but it is, in fact, something I can draw. <laughs> Which is oh, not, not, not really saying much, but yeah. Alright. This one's gonna take a bit more detail. Is it a horizon? <laughs> you did No, no, you didn't. <laughs> Actually, let's see if I can uh, cleverly use the stamps if they have any that I can actually use. All right, I'll use a uh, skateboard man here. You should just upload some footage to Red Fire and say it's of a new game, but really, it's just you moving the skateboarder stamp around. All right. I'll do this then. Now that is some scale right there. <laughs> Take note, the only thing I've drawn is the line. <laughs> uh, massacre? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, or I'll add one more detail to really just tie tie up loose ends. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> just at the end. Okay, <laughs> this is all I am giving you. <laughs> I'll I'll give you one hint. Letty Kravitz. Um. <laughs> the the downfall a... of human civilization, is that it? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, this is awful, but yeah. Communism? <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Hmm. Right, I'm thinking, what sort of words would, um,. Do, that do, random word generator. Wait a minute, I got it. It's anti disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> you got no, you didn't. Aw, <laughs> oh, dang it. Very good guess, though, except for the part where it's not. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> right, I'll give yeah, I just, I just did it right there. There's, I pretty much gave away the answer, but only if you associate <laughs> the thing I just said with what I just did. Did, did, awful? did, 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 did. It's awful, isn't it? No. Well, I mean, it is, but it's not the answer. Terrible? <laughs> Rubbish? No. Bad? Horrible? All right, do you want, do you want the answer? Quick, before I stop caring. The answer is get away. Because, you see, skateboarder guy is, like, getting shaded. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Art is ruined forever. <laughs> Breakfast is ruined. So should we switch games, or I think we probably should. Yeah, it's the, arist there's... it's the aristocrats. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any game we have in our arsenal is going to be able to top that. All right. <laughs> uh. Unless maybe you want to take a shot at River City Ransom now. 
Yeah, we're, I know, I know, I, I know a good, good, a good, a good, 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 good one. This, all of those counted. Every single good I put in there is a part of the sentence. I, I know exactly what we should play next. It's, it's a single player game, but we can do it by passing the controller. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell him don't tell him you bastard <laughs> again I'm gonna be honest I have not actually properly played this but I know way too much about it thanks to the internet oh no, oh no I just started it you all know what it is it's a signal player game yes <laughs> So yeah, Bubsy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Join me for a stream tonight, he said. It'll be fun. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna be honest. I have never played Bubsy in my life. <laughs> so already I hate this. <laughs> the controls are all over the place. Wait, Bubsy is two-player? What? Yeah, what could possibly go wrong, he said. Hold on. Hold on. There's two... The, no, there isn't. Is there? Did I do that? Hold on. You press C on the menu. Oh, no! I think you're in control, because I can't move. <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> oh, no. So, yes, welcome to Bubsy Stream. I am your host, Metis2. <laughs> and I am being held here against my will. There we go. I think that's how they meant for that to be done. <laughs> like I said, I have never actually properly played the Bubsy games aside from Bubsy 3D and just no. <laughs> Is there really any proper way to play Bubsy 3D? Oh dear, I died. What could possibly- No, you don't have to swap controllers, remember. Oh, oh dang it, I- No, no, I give it back to me! <laughs> there, quick, take it. No, I, I was playing. Oh, you were? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is this is like the the worst like Abbott and Costello routine ever, and that doesn't even make any sense. All right, so uh, going along here, and again, I can already sympathize with all the complaints. The camera is way too zoomed in. Bubsy controls like he's on like ice. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, Bubsy 3D is the only good Bubsy game. <laughs> yeah, because the rest were just mediocre. Yeah. Come on, why is the jump so bad? It's like Samari times a thousand. Would you believe that when this game first came out, people were actually praising the character and like, he was like the most hyped character of the year or whatever? Are you serious? Yeah, I Bubsy find, was on the cover of magazines. I find that really hard to believe, like, no joke. <laughs> Don't need to swap, remember. Yes, we do. I I'm playing, though. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you oh, just got hit oh, on oh that, that was cover. good, that was good. <laughs> Oh. Oh my god, this game. So yeah, they didn't just give you those nine lives as a joke. <laughs> oh, I mean, they, they did. You know it. <laughs> yeah, but you really need them. The only, I think the only 2D Bubsy game I've actually played is the uh, Jaguar one. At a convention. When did you play the Jaguar one? At a convention, they had it there. 
and for some reason, yeah, for some reason, it was like everyone in the uh, room that they were playing was like crowded around because it was so awful, and no one could get past stage one. Nobody. It was oh, really? really bad. <laughs> And I just died. <laughs> Good. Bubsy, what was available in the SNES in Japan? Wow. That's sad. I'm pretty sure it was available on the SNES in America, too. Well, I mean, yeah, it kind of was. Keep forgetting you can do, like, 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 knuckle sliding in this. Because, you know, the whole, you know, the old joke. Oh my god, why does a bobcat fly? Yeah, I know that, that that's well trodden territory. I think that that's not really much of a joke anymore. Oh, come on! <laughs> why does a bobcat glide? Or glide? Because he'll break his ass and die on the ground if he doesn't. <laughs> it's like they wanted to make a flying squirrel and then they accidentally, like, drew him wrong. <laughs> and by that point, they had already run out of time. What was the point of that effect there? Like, why did that happen? <laughs> I don't know, but I hope you liked it, because here we go again. <laughs> Apparently oh, yeah, we have someone in chat who has actually again. beaten this game before. I'm so sorry. It's like they're trying to, they're, they're trying to, like, throw every single little, like, convention and mechanic at you just to say, hey, look, it's a platformer game. Hey, I won. Good job. I feel so accomplished. Like, suddenly you just get the thing that you run on, like, Sonic, and then there's the scaling effect, and it's just, it's a mess. It's like you can tell there was just a bunch of people sitting around in a room saying, like, what will make our game huge? I know, let's, let's just play like Sonic 3 and rip off everything. So how's that parallax scrolling, huh? It's... it's okay, I guess. <laughs> I don't think Bubsy really had potential, I'm sorry. <laughs> Characters literally just what happens with like a bunch of just business better like hey Sonic equals money. Let's let let's make Sonic, but not. <laughs> that was how Bubsy was yeah. born, yeah. <laughs> Rip. Forbidden plump what? Is that even a pun? Yeah, I think they were trying to invoke Forbidden Planet. Which is funny because Bubsy 3D's title is Forbidden Planet. We're getting someone who chat in chat actually mad at us for being bad at this game. I am oh. not joking. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure if you jump on the car, you just get stuck in it and die. Bubsy 3D was a retcon. <laughs> yes, that was really necessary to change the music for that. It's like I'm playing a really awful DOS platformer, like music and everything. <laughs> yeah, I forget, was there a PC version of this game? I know there was Super Bubsy on Windows 95. I think it was just Bubsy 1, but with like fancier graphics, if I remember. Hey! Yeah, one day out of nowhere, my dad just started calling one of the birds Bubsy, and I like I tried to explain to him the connotations of that name, but he just doesn't get it. Oh yeah, Bubsy 3D was originally meant for the 32X, yes, I know, and the Saturn. <laughs> but then they realized that Bubsy 3D shouldn't have existed at all. Are you just inventing how you want it to have gone down? <laughs> oh, that was that, that was good, that was good camera.
Mine are games like this for like $60 back in the day. <laughs> it's like a make it or break it decision. You get pay like $60 amounting for like 90s money. Do you get like Vector Man 2 or do you get Bubsy 3D? It's like a <laughs> come home. <laughs> Way to go, you just landed in the kitchen. Yeah, I just saw that. <laughs> Why does Bubsy run this fast? What reason would he have? T Did you just die hitting the wall? Oh. Okay. No, amazingly, I'm still alive after that. Yeah, let's see if I can do that again. I don't know, I remember listening to the SNES version, it just sounded kind of generic. Oh good, one up, how do I get out of here? I gotta go back over the all this uh, from I? Pepe. The fact that he was bribed to be no that he was bribed to be the next big character just makes me wonder if Accolade was bribing magazines in the nineties or Or just the nineties were just less sane than I thought. Well Hold on, I gotta rephrase that he's trying to stop it. Wait, he's basically saying he just makes him wonder if the 90s were just that stupid or the, the accolade was actually like bribing the magazine, sort of like Driver 3. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll give them that. They have different death animations just to really rub in how easily you can die in this for very cheap reasons. <laughs> so they're basing this off the Dragon's Lair principle? Yeah. <laughs> Way to go. We out. Oh yeah, Pepe then says we were talking about the period when Rise of the Robots was hyped as fuck, so... <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty sure Rise of the Robots actually was getting those high scores because they brought... Because, like, Rise of the Robots kind of had that sort of, like, all-star sort of thing, like, crazy 3D graphics, and, like, the dude, I forgot who it was, works on the music. I think it was Brian May, was it? Yeah. Yeah. And he made, like, one song, and then yeah. they kicked him out. <laughs> and then they're making all the crazy music and the effects and stuff, and then everyone realized Rise of the Robots isn't very good. <laughs> It's depending on which version you play. It's either way too hard, way too easy, or it's just really broken. <laughs> Unfortunately, none of the versions are any good. Yeah. Remember the 3DO version being like the worst because like it has like animation bugs. You can like the f combat just isn't there. It's it's like really bad. <laughs> yeah, didn't that version instead of having music just have like a metronome or something? It's, it's like static, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like someone's just left their Geiger counter on next to the TV. Yeah. yeah and environments designed by an architect. Actual, like, back of the... Oh, the trailer blurb. <laughs> yeah, an architect built that Sam Poom department store that fell down that one time. <laughs> Maybe it was the very same. <laughs> Perhaps. Maybe that's what he did. He fled Korea after that happened. <laughs> and, ah, jeez, I keep popping my foot. I keep popping my foot. That's another quote I never thought I'd hear. Alright, banana, so now we're, like, hitting on Donkey Kong Country, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I think what, you I'm... asking Donkey Kong Country out for a nice meal and a wine or whatever? <laughs> After this, I would... <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna finish that joke. That was gonna get really weird and rude. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah should we should be... Oh yeah, I was looking at the Robles. I think after this, we should we should play Awesome Possum. <laughs> nope, fuck that. I'm leaving the stream after this. Seriously, yeah, there's someone in chat actually has getting upset. Me for tonight. I don't think I can handle him. <laughs> <laughs> a piano. There's seriously 
someone in the chat getting mad at us because we're bad at this game. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, then High sees Havoc afterwards. <laughs> just play all the really yeah, awful bastards. For once, I fully invite Famulator to just like jack into our Mednafin server and beat this <laughs> game for us. <laughs> what about Socket? It's like Sonic, but like annoying. <laughs> That punky skunk would probably be better than this. I remember it being oh. vaguely passable in comparison. <laughs> yeah, I think after this one, I'm gonna call it a night, because I'm getting tired. Alright. I have no idea how the enemy attacking works. Sometimes it seems like you have to be on top, sometimes it... It works when you're on the side. I, I don't really get it. <laughs> or here's the piano bit, right? Yep. Good level design. <laughs> really just reaching out to that, like, I want to be the guy level. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, you think you're making progress? Here, have a piano! <laughs> I got another good out of context quote. <laughs> You think you're making good progress? Here, have a piano. <laughs> it's Bubsy, why are you questioning Bubsy? <laughs> because Bubsy damn well deserves to be questioned. <laughs> well, I can beat level three, or is this level two or three? Oh, hey, yay. Yeah, this is two. Alright. So, do we just keep going or quit? <laughs> I don't know, I'll see if... Like, when one of us runs out of lives, then that's it. Alright. What if we end up beating this game after? <laughs> then I will question where my life went wrong for the 20th time Remember, today. Remember, the piano. <laughs> Yeah, I can hear it down there. Ooh, one up. Wait a minute, that means I have to play the game longer? <laughs> Why'd I do that? Alright, so, uh, we gotta really take it what we've done tonight. We played Genesis Action 50... Genesis Action 52... We played Art Alive, and now we're playing Bubsy. <laughs> And don't forget, we made the Confederacy win. Oh, yeah. This is like the dark future. <laughs> this is what we have to look forward to in Trump's America. <laughs> it just adds another thing to the Constitution. Every American must play Bubsy at least once to completion. I'm not sure which voice is worse, the one in Bubsy 3D or the one in here. Oh, definitely that one. <laughs> oh, come on, I hate these controls so much. It's more just the fact that they keep throwing enemies and pianos in out of nowhere. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute, can I, like, go in here? Yeah, hey. I can. It's gonna drop you into the- OH MY GOD, IT ACTUALLY- Oh, I thought it was gonna drop you into the water. <laughs> to put it past the game. I know somewhere there's like a sewer line that takes you back to the very beginning of the stage. Oh, there I go. Oh, that's first game over. What a shame. <laughs> the voice actor in Bubsy 3D voice version of the bats. <laughs> really? Like, I, I'm trying to imagine Rouge's voice, and I just don't hear it. <laughs> There's no way that's the same character. <laughs> Maybe she was uh, just suffering from a severe bout of hay fever with <laughs> Bubsy. 
All right, that 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 was but player one wins. Okay, okay, I did it. I won. <laughs> Do you feel proud of yourself? No. Well, good night, everybody. <laughs> that that was that was. Oh no. <laughs> Well, good night, and have a safe evening, and I am sorry you just had to put, put up with that. Uh